Hi folks, um, playing late at night, there's not so many high rated players on, so second day in a row, um, second game in a row where I'm playing a lower rated opponent. I usually go B5 here, right? And I guess, do I go C5? For some reason I do this before developing the bishop. Probably doesn't matter very much, honestly. Um, alright, I'll do it now. This is interesting. Do I go a6 or do I go b4? Such positions, I think, I think a6 is okay. I mean, I think b4 is okay also. If I'm a little worried, he would like... I don't know. b4 is probably fine. I'm worried he would take some stuff. That would be annoying, but it's probably not that annoying. So, <laughs> that's why I'm doing this. Again, it's just the opening. No super deep thoughts yet. Uh, usually castles would be good in a position like this. Move. Actually, I'll pre-move that. So what am I going to do next? It's the big question of the day. B4, followed by B4. Just knight c6. Oh. Well, I'm going to trade. And then I'm probably going to go d6. Maybe knight d5 first. Probably not, though. Just start with d6. It's a useful move. Alright, now pawn takes pawn, followed by knight d5, and knight c6. Or maybe take a knight c6 immediately. Why not? Oh, wow. Uh, that's really... Oh, I was going to say it's odd, but now I realize the point is I can't recapture. <laughs> um... Off to take this then. Should I have one knight d5 first? I don't know. Knight to d7 is a simple developing move, but then you take on a6. Probably do it anyway though. Takes an a6, queen b6 or something. I get I get I'm gonna win the pawn back probably. Not sure exactly how, but somehow. <laughs> somehow. Uh I hope somehow. Do this. Let's see if uh, I have a check. I have a check. I guess I'll take this pawn. Mm. Oh, knight b4, Jesus. Five then? Huh. I see rook takes. Oh no, the rook takes knight b4, rook a1, knight b. Six, rook takes queen. I'm down. I'm down material there, right? Yeah. Bad luck. What do I do instead? This is a key moment, actually. If I'm not careful, things could get out of hand. And c5 looks really. Rook a6, maybe four. Rook a. Oh, what about just rook b8? Whatever. My cat's meowing. If you can't hear him. Kind of hoping that at some point I'm going to be able to block his bishop and take the a pawn. I mean, obviously, this is not what I wanted against the lower rated guy. Tear down a pawn. Not not, not sure what to do. Uh, I'm going to just take it. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Cat, please. All right. I'm sorry, I'm really distracted by my cat right now. I can't really think at all. Do this. Please stop meowing. Please stop. Please stop. He won't stop though. He just keeps going and going. Please stop. I said please so many times. He doesn't care. Here. I'm going to do this. I don't know. Um, if he doesn't take knight c4, is annoying. Obviously, this position is horrible because I'm playing a lower rated guy and I'm down a pawn. You know, maybe I'm going to hold, but winning's going to be hard. And I have a meowing cat. Relentless meowing. Um. So I do the. Is, is d4? I think this is the right move. And then knight d5 is causing some irritating ideas. Right. Think of 94, or is that like weird? 
He should probably do it. Try to go knight c5. That's what he does. The guy's so smart. Do this. Try to go knight c5. Oh! I can take on b4 maybe. Please stop meowing. I can't think at all when you meow like that. I just can't. I can't do it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, knight c3 to b5 makes a lot of sense. Try to get that a pawn. I'm just gonna do it. Oh boy. I might take the e pawn, or I might just. I don't know. I mean, the, the a pawn's the key of the position. So I. I that. Um. Take rook take knight b5. Um. Rook b5 right now. Oh no. Wait, what if? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Ah, uh, and the knight b5. I thought you go like rook b6. Knight a7, rook a6. Okay, losing. I don't know what else to do. Let's hope he. Oh god, he's rook a5. What a horrible move. Oh, disgusting. What is that? I don't even understand. What? What? Oh. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Sorry, I was just confused. You wanted to go rook b6 maybe? And rook takes d7? Now it would be nice to have a little more time. But this is what happens when your position is bad. Alright, let's go for it. F6 next move. A again. I just move fast. Mm. Maybe that was ideal. But if he goes B6, I'm going to go Rook D5 to B5. Go Rook D5 next move anyway. Try stupid. Rook D7? Oh, then King E6. Everything good. Oh, right where I want to be. Ah, uh, let's just do this. G6? No. That's very hard to do much. 94 D3, so that. Um. Mm, Jesus. Obviously on the risky side of things. <laughs> I figure because he's lower rated, maybe. Um, yeah, if King E6, Knight C5. Effectively, I have a bad position. Hmm. What's going on here? Doing that to simplify matters because I'm very confused right now. All on time. Now, what the hell do I do? Bring the e4 and hope for the best. Good. Had a good
Yeah, yeah, win. Holy shit. Mm. Very, very lucky game, obviously. <laughs> he just, just collapsed in one move. I mean, first of all, my opening. I don't know where it all went wrong. So, yeah, yeah, this move like was remarkably strong. And knight d7 was just a bit lazy. I don't know what I should do instead. Maybe, maybe queen c8. It should be like okay here, right? Slightly worse, but it's not a big deal. Houdini likes Queen C8 also. This is just risky. I, I just thought I'd be able to win this pawn back, but the computer doesn't see a way. E3 was very strong because, like, obviously it looks like this is good, but then Knight D4. I don't know. Do you really see this? Is he really so smart? And then he has this in between check, and he wins a piece. So bad news for me. And I was just suffering. basically. Yeah, this is horrible. I mean, you can just do this, and I'm just, like, lost, game over. I mean, five or something. I'll turn on Houdini, but I'm sure I'm lost again. Uh, his movie's just horrible blunder, knight to d7. I mean, I, I don't know, he must have just thought, well, take knight b I I don't even know, I can even take this, then b5, but like, he must have thought this was some forced win, checkmate, and Back in the night, but it just turns out I can take this, and then even in the end game, I was losing. Like, I was worse at some point, I just did really weird things. Like, 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 why not just take my pawn? I mean, I'm gonna be up a pawn and then just push the H pawn. I was just hoping that you know, the guy's lower rated, I'll hopefully outplay him in some blitz time scramble. Probably I should have been more, more patient or, or cautious and gone for the draw. But, you know, in Blitz, this is the gamble you take. You just figure that for whatever reason, because you're better, that you'll get lucky this time. And, you know, I'm more likely to get lucky than him because I'm just a little more skilled at these time scrambles. And that's what happened. I won. It's a miracle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.